Um, last week we drew some birds out of the garden and this week I'm going to paint some. I'm going to set up a little scenario where we've got two birds in the garden um, and bring a bit more colour in, don't use the blackbird and have the blue tit again and a little robin. So I've got me I've got my reference book in the corner. I'm actually because I drew the rock the blue tick last week I'm feeling a little bit confident. <clears throat> it might all go wrong, but uh, I'm gonna try and flip him so that they're both looking in towards the picture because we don't want them both looking the same way. The composition wouldn't be very nice. So I'm gonna have my blue tick up here and I'm reversing the process. So I've got my my circle here and then I've got my circle for the belly and the tail coming up, a little dint for the for the neck coming up over the top. I don't want to put too much detail in because I'm going to be painting, so I just need some outlines to follow. Got my little eye, bringing it down, put this belly in there, nice and round, take it down. Little leg coming out of here, and I'm going to have him sitting on a branch. He's actually sitting on a branch there in the picture, but again, I'm going to change it slightly and bring the tree coming in here. some more twigs coming out of the back there. Now a little robin down here. Again, the circles. The robin's quite chubby. So he's got more of a more of a defi defined neck there. And a rounded back. And a pointy, a, a longer beak. Coming straight down there into his big fat belly, going round his little legs sticking out. We've got, you can see three toes in this picture of the robin and his back toe. One, two, longer one, another one's longer. Around the back to his tail. His tail's not very long and quite thin. And that goes up into his little old brown helmet, little brown head, his brown wing. And goes down halfway through. That's quite stripy. And then of course his famous red breast. There's a little bit of white. A bit of white. And his red breast coming in here. Now we're going to have the robin sitting on the standing on the ground with a worm in his mouth, I think. So I'll create a scenario, I'll put a line in for the edge of the lawn. And we'll leave it at that. Right, I'm going to put some washes in to start with, just to put a bit of background in. A little bit of green there. I'm going to mix up some brown for the background. I'm not going to use the black. I'll save that for another time. Let me see the paints. A little bit of red, a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in with the green as well. My spring grass. So I'll get my big brush, get lots of water on my big brush. And just get some colour down in the background. A little bit of this yellow in just to lighten this green up. It's quite a garish green. I might put a little bit of blue in just to knock it back a bit because it's a bit, a bit garish. Not quite so bad now. A little tiny little bit of red just to soften it up a bit. You see? And I'm just going to put a bit of a wash in here 
just so that we've got some background. And the birds aren't hovering around in space. Trying not to go over my lines that I've drawn in. Not that it matters because I will be painting over it so it doesn't really matter. I can paint over his feet rather than going around them because I will be painting over it afterwards. Now to mix up the brown. I use a different brush for actually doing the mixing. So I've got my paintbrush here. I've got get some yellow because that's the lighter, so I'll need more of that than anything else. A little bit of red, and then the tiniest bit of blue. So that's gone quite dark now. But actually it's going to be all right for a background, I think. A little bit more blue, actually, because I want it quite dark in the background there. So I just want to put a bit of a lot of water. Put some background in up here. Around our little blue tip. Again, you can paint over the legs because we'll be painting over the top of them. Get a big brush. Don't want to go over the top of the because we've got white in the top of the blue in the in the blue tits head, haven't we? We don't want to go over the top of that. And we've got a bit of white in his tail as well. I'm going to mix up a little bit more of the red and the yellow. And make a lighter brown for underneath here. I don't want it too light though because I want me. In fact, once I put some more blue in that actually, I make it darker. Because I want my robin's head to stand out. So I don't want it to be the same colour as my robin's head's going to be. So we'll make it darker. So that it looks further away. We can put some around his head. Put some sticks in there, make it look like he's standing in front of some bushes. Okay, so we've got some background in. Now we'll put some colour in our birds. We've got our blue tip. And the blue we've got is very bright. Blue tits aren't that bright. So we'll knock it back with a bit of red, tiniest bit of yellow. Let's see what that looks like. And we've got the top of his head. In fact, I'm going to use a different brush because there's quite a bit of detail here. So I'll get the paint off my brush. Get a thinner brush to do the top of his head. And then down the back. Down to his tail. I can use this now because we're going coming under his cheek. Around to create his wing. Oh, 
to get the basic shape in to start with we can paint into it afterwards to get some more texture and can I get my mixing right I mix get some more red into that blue and a bit of yellow some more blue should be able to get almost black brown. I might decide to put the blue in afterwards but I'll just do this for the moment. And so we've got the back of his head coming forward over his eye into his beak. And then down. Creating that white cheek and the black collar. Cleaning the paintbrush because we've got paint on the other side of the brush. But we've used the paint on that side. Turning your brush. Turning your brush. around the back there okay we could put his little feet in as well while we're at it here gripping hold of that stick and under the underings of his tail and we've got some dark bits on the edges of his wings we'll add the white bits after that's one of the lovely things about acrylics is that you can put the light on top of the dark so while we've got this little black this dark stuff i'm going to do my robin's legs and have a look at my robin trying to give that toes So we're mixing up the brown of the robin's head. There we go. We'll put a bit more yellow in that. Come down into his wing. And into his tail. And you can see we're actually getting some stripes with the brush marks. And you can get some feathery marks with the brush. The little brush again. And go back to the darker, blacker colour because we need to do his beak and his eye and now we'll have a look at doing his red breast and I think this red is a little bit too bright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some yellow to it to make it oranger I think it needs to be a lot more orangey so we use all that yellow up and we'll get a little 
things. Let's pull that bust in. Feathery brush marks in there. So now we've established the blocks of ah yellow. We haven't got our blue tits lovely yellow breast yet, have we? So I'll put some more yellow paint on my palette. Clean brush. And we'll get some lovely yellow of the blue tips belly. Darken up this background a little bit now. Put some more blue on my palette. Blue sends things back into the background. I know I like the sky's blue. The further away things are, the bluer they get. It's the same reason, it's the, it's the same principle as the, as the sky being blue. So, I'm just going to darken this up. Like I said before, I've got some. Lines in it so it makes it look like it's from a bush. Darken it all up, so I'll set it all back a bit. So that our little robin stands out. And I think we'll do some green up in the top. So get me bigger brush. Darken that up a bit at the background, in the background there. And then, with this sort of middle sized flat brush, mixed up a, a warmer green and I'm just going to put a little bit of just flat on the side so that it's like almost like leaf shaped and just pat some texture 
Let's do this around so that it looks like the blue tit's sitting in a bush. And that gives us some context. And moving the paint around. Oops, went over the blue tit's belly there. But we'll go over this anyway and work back into the blue tit in a minute and bring that edge back. How's that looking? Bring it down. So we can see the branch that the blue tit is sitting on, but it's in a bush. I'm putting a brown on there, shadow for his foot. So we're working to our blue tit again a little bit and darken his blue foliage, his blue plumage up. Put a little tiny bit of blue in this yellow because I want to make his belly go around a bit. So basically, I'm putting a bit of shading in so it's slightly darker underneath there. Have another look at our robin. We've got some a, sort of a, a lighter yellow here to try and bring his head out a bit. So I'm dropping it on. I need to darken that behind him. Painting's a lot about edges, how one area of paint meets the next, and so you need things to stand out, which I'm not doing at the moment.
we'll get the white out and we'll put a bit of white for some highlights. Bit of white reflecting on our blue tit's eye, and don't forget the tips of his wings. Now Robin's eye. going to make a bit of very light blue to get some shading in the robin's belly some very light blue so we can get some shading in the robin's belly and underneath where To have a tissue to hand for if your paint decides to do its own thing. And I'm going to put some light on the top of this robin's head because we can't see it at the moment. So A bit of a shadow, put a bit of sunlight catching the robin's head. Some more of the dark to define his beak. this stuff this dry brush to put some texture in this grassy area Further away it goes, the smaller the movements. And then the closer you get to the front, the larger the movements become. And the texture of the grass. I'm 
going to darken this bottom area up some more. It dries really quickly acrylic paint so all that's dry now and I can just wash over the top with some darker just to knock it right back. back the more I'm going to be able to see my robin. Is he coming out better yet? Looks a bit better in Texas. darker red in. Have a look at this red. We can put some shape in the red of the robin's breast. It's looking a bit flat. starting to sound out a bit more now. Put a bit more green up here. And one blue tip. Can stand out a bit more. I think that'll do. I'm not trying to make a photograph, I'm just doing my own representation of the birds in my garden. So I hope you have fun with it. Have a go, it doesn't have to be perfect. Your mistakes are your style, as Grace and Perry says. So just have fun with it. Doesn't matter what it looks like in the end. I've enjoyed doing that. So have fun. See you next week. <laughs>